Greetings and salutations folks and welcome once again as always to another helping of Mr H's Hot Pot. You join me today back in my hometown of Wigan. I'm back on my own midden for this little video folks today and hopefully what I'm going to do for you in a moment is wrap up and conclude a little series that I started back in January. Now for those of you who've got good memories you'll probably recall that I'd started documenting a public footpath not too far away from where I'm currently sat that had been illegally closed by the landowner. What this particular landowner had done is they owned a field that a public footpath crossed and they'd wired shut the access gate stopping the general public from walking across their land which is totally illegal. So what I did, I documented the gate being wired shut and I contacted the local authority which is Wigan Council which oversees public footpaths in this area. And I explained the problem, I gave them a link to my original video and it took them about 10 days to get back in touch with me. That's 10 working days so it was more like a fortnight. So we was heading by then to the back end of January. And they did indeed get in touch with me and they explained that they'd contacted the landowner and they'd given them a further 14 days to rectify the problem. Now since then I've not been able to get back to this particular public footpath. The reason for that has been all the terrible weather that we had last month. We've had rain, we've had winds, we've had storms, the country just got battered didn't it? So I didn't bother returning back to this particular public footpath. However the weather has sort of improved a little over the past couple of days so I want to get this one wrapped up. So I've come out today and hopefully the landowner will have complied and I'll be able to film myself walking across that public footpath. So without further ado, I'm going to jump out of the old jalopy now. I'm going to wrap up warm and hopefully you'll join me when we get closer to where this public footpath is and we'll see if the landowner has indeed complied with what Wigan Council ordered them to do. OK, Hot Potters, welcome back. I'm now suitably wrapped up against the elements because although the weather has improved slightly, we've not had as much rain in the past couple of days, there is still a bit of a chill in the air and a little bit of wind so I apologise in advance if any wind gets captured on this portion of the video. Anyway we're now fast approaching where that gate was wired shut back in January. So I'm going to turn the camera around in a moment and we'll see if the landowner has complied with the order that Wigan Council have given them and reopened this public footpath. OK folks, well the moment of truth. Has this landowner complied or have they not? We'll soon see in a moment. Da 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 And they have indeed complied. Back in January there was a wire tied around that post there and that gate wiring it shut. Now the little sign that was handwritten and says closed until other gate can be fixed that's still there, I suppose that could come under misleading signs but uh, I'm going to give it them because they have complied. It appears they've only done the bare minimum but people can indeed step through that gate now. They haven't bothered repairing their own fence but that's up to them. Anyway, I'm now going to whip the camera around and uh, we'll film myself stepping through that gate. So folks, there we have it, democracy in action. This public footpath is now open to the general public and the free to use it once again. I'm going to now exercise my right to use this public footpath by stepping through this gate. And as I walk across this field, I'd just like to thank Wigan Council for getting on the case and sorting this problem out. Right then folks, that's it from me for this video and this little series of videos. So, until the next time, from myself, Mr H, as always, it is, bye-bye for now.